Good morning everybody. Um, <clears throat> this is just a quick tip to show you how to brighten up something like this which I've got here which is a little bit boring. Just some bullet points there although they look nice and clean they're not very exciting. So um, what I've done is I've created some examples of here of what you can do with a bullet list. So you can put some check marks which look like that, some light check marks or some heavy check marks like that. And I'll show you how I did that. Um, so what I did is <clears throat> here are the normal bullet points. So if you look at that one, you'll basically see yeah, they're just bullet points. Um, and the code behind it in the text tab looks like that. Um, so it's um, <clears throat> an ordered list and then every list item has a start code and an end code to it. So what I did is I replaced all the list items. So I'll just quickly remove them from here, make them not a list. So they become just text items. I go back into the text tab there. And then what I do, I found this great website which has the alt number on it. So I can choose whatever I want to put in front of it. So I would take, I quite like that one. So I copy that and then I go back into my page here and then in front of it I paste it in there with a space and then the next line I do the same. A bit boring to look at isn't it? <coughs> and that one there. So from being a HTML um, unordered list, it's just these icons in here, these um, um, alt codes in there. So now if I would update the page, I can show you the difference between that bullet pointed list there and if I would reload this page, it would basically replace all the dot points with a check mark, which looks a lot better and uh, more clean than that one actually does. So just a quick recap. Um, if you make a list, a bulleted list by using that icon there, the bulleted list, remove all the code in the text tab so take all of that out, although a much quicker way of doing that would be to go into visual and then select everything and take the bullet list away and then insert the particular code in there um, or any other code of this particular website. So we can take that code as well. It's just like a heavy check mark, they call it. Um, and you can basically put those codes anywhere you like. Or we could have a boxed check mark. Um, make it a bit funky. We do all different ones. And the last one is a normal check mark, which is that one there. Uh, where am I? That one there. So now if I would save that, all those codes would show up different on every single page. So I'll just update the page and I'll paste all those codes in the description of the YouTube channel, YouTube um, video. So if I reload that now, it'll look quite funky because it'll have on every single line a different check mark. There we go. So we can see all the different ones there, which is pretty cool to see. Um, so all you need to do is take those codes and put them anywhere you like. Um, I hope that was um, useful for you. Thank you.